what's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, your girl is feeling good because she ain't got a wig on. She got some braids. Y'all know I'm extra, okay? Anybody that's new to my channel, listen. I'm extra, but I'm going to get you right, okay? I'm extra, but I'm here for you, baby boo. Y'all know I got bars. Ah! But anyways, y'all, so... I told y'all I was going to be bringing y'all some protective styling after I got a couple of wigs out the way. So I took a pause from wigs. Um, Your girl got some videos coming out. Some different kind of videos. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can, you know, keep coming back for the good flavor in your ear. Hey, time for new flavor in your ear. I'm bringing you flavor in your ear. That's brand new flavor. So today I will be showing you guys how to do... These poetic justice braids doing the rubber band method. Now, this ain't no rubber band man. Wow, like a Taliban. This is the rubber band method. Okay, so if you would like to see how I achieve this look, stay tuned and I will see you at the end of the video. Woo, child, things are gonna get okay y'all oh yes my skin is looking lovely everything that i use will be listed down in the description box below before we get started i do want to show you the hair the hair this is the quick z braid and this is by bali i've never never heard of this brand before ever y'all ever in my life but y'all know i live in the middle of nowhere so what that's what I got. But actually, this is the best braiding hair that I've ever used. It's so soft and it doesn't like hurt my hand. I mean, my hands still do cramp up. That's why I'm braiding no more. But it doesn't cut my hand. It's nice and soft and it does come feathered at the end. And I do got a pop of color. You know, I had to put some color in there. This is the color here. It's like a 1B30 mix. And it's like an ombre at the end. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. Because this style is very easy. I just want to show y'all how I do my poetic justice braids. My hair is already moisturized. But out of habit, I'm going to add some more product before I put it in the rubber band. The best thing about the rubber band method is you get you get to determine how tight you want your rubber band to be. So it's not pulling your hair. I'm going to go ahead and do these two off camera. Now that I have sectioned off my hair, I'm going to begin to braid. And don't worry, you're not going to see the white residue from the hair product when you braid. Now, the rubber band method is easy for people that, like, don't know how to braid and don't know how to grip. Um, I know how to braid, but the rubber band method is a lot easier for me, especially when I do my own hair. Y'all, this is the fastest I've ever braided my hair before in my whole lifetime. So, you're just going to loop the hair. You're just going to loop the hair around the rubber band, and you're just going to begin to braid. Easy. I do braid it all the way to the end, and there you go. Okay, here we are. I am done. 
Now I just have to dip my hair and add some mousse. Y'all haven't braided my hair in a long, long time. Like box braided my hair. So like I was struggling, y'all. Like really struggling. But <laughs> your girl is done. Okay, I went ahead and burned and dipped my ends off camera. Y'all, I won't try to burn myself. Now that I've dipped my ends, I'm going to put some mousse on my hair. Okay, y'all, and I'm back with the final look. I didn't added some her jewelry. But y'all, I am feeling these braids. Yes, honey, yes. Yes, rubber band method is so easy, y'all. It's so easy for people that, one, don't know how to braid and can't grip. And two, when you're trying to do something really quick and fast, because y'all, I studied these braids like probably around 11 o'clock last night and I braided till about 2 a.m. And I was done the sides and the back and I just had the top and I wanted to record the top so you know I could demonstrate for you guys. But it's so fast, y'all. And it's really easy for people, you know, that's been braiding for a long time and your hands cramp up. I'm one of those people. I've been braiding since I was 12 years old, y'all. So my hands is tied. You know what I'm saying? I got two girls. I got myself. And my hands be cramping. So rubber band method, it makes it really easy and convenient to do some box braids. And, um... I recommend these when you really want big jumbo box braids, even bigger than mine, because you're not pulling at your hair. With rubber band method, you have the control of how much tension is on your hair with the rubber band. And y'all, let's just take a moment to acknowledge these little bit of edges that I got. Y'all, I ain't have those last year. You get what I'm saying? Your girl is flourishing all 2019. You know what I'm saying? What God has for me is for me. So yes, y'all, we just gonna take a moment to acknowledge my little edges. Spirit fingers. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and turn to the side and turn to the back so y'all can see my skills or whatever. But y'all, I was getting tired with my hands up so don't be judging my braids some of them might look raggedy but i can braid overall okay i was just tired oh y'all saw my back out my man gonna get me <laughs> y'all know i like to act up so i can get snatched up Hey, act up, you can get snatches. But yes, y'all, this style was so easy, so quick, really quick, especially for a mama of two. And you know, I'm in here, you know, doing my own thing with my brand and all that. So I'm busy and stuff. But y'all, this is a really easy style. I wouldn't recommend rubber band method when doing smaller braids. And the only reason why I say that is because that's a whole lot of rubber bands to be putting in somebody's head. But other than that, these braids are the bomb, y'all. Like, let's just get a little closer of you. These braids are really the bomb, okay? If, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think, all right? If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions regarding this style, drop them down below. And you know I will talk back to you. Also, everything I use will be listed down in the description box. And I will also put how many packs of hair that I use as well. If you haven't already... Y'all already know what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it again. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that big red button down below and subscribe to my channel because I know you see it. I know you see it. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for supporting me. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.